Hey guys, it's Pi, and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. Every day, I get asked the same question. Pi, what is the best ship in Tradelands? And the short answer is the Phoenix. The Phoenix is the best ship overall, but the long answer is much more complicated and it has a lot more variables, like where you are in the game, how expensive it is, what you're going to be using the ship for. We can be arguing all day and night what the best ship for you at that certain point in time is. Which is why I'm creating a new series called Ship Spotlight. In Ship Spotlight, we are going to be doing an in-depth analysis of every individual ship in Tradelands, scrutinizing every single detail so that I can provide you the best information and the best advice. I've been playing Tradelands ever since the day one release, which has been more than half a decade now. <laughs> been a fun, fun six years. I hope that you find my commentary informative and that these videos will help you make decisions for your own Tradelands experience. That being said, this series will still be my opinion and you're more than welcome to agree or disagree in the comments. Regardless, more comments is better for the YouTube algorithm, so you really are more than welcome to agree or disagree. This is an episode zero of the series, so even though I'm not going to be reviewing a ship in this episode, it is still imperative that you watch this video because I'm going to be going over all of the rules, the guidelines, and the ranking system that I will use in every video of the series. While you may understand the videos without this preface, you're going to want to know this preface for all the details, all of the information that you can get. You want to listen to this video. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Every video is going to start with a brief overview of the ship, which will include information such as unlock level, recommended crew, and the resources required to build. As a part of this, I'm also going to include an estimated price tag for the total materials of the ship, which I will base on a 60 PP price for iron and a 50 PP price for oak. This cost will also include any uh, engines, vouchers, or other special items that that ship may require. I hope it goes without saying, but I should mention it here that Tradelands is a free market and the price of materials will vary with inflation and it will also vary by seller to seller. The price that I will list in the videos is based on the current economy of Tradelands and it will m most definitely probably change as time goes on. I remember a time when iron was 20 pp, now here we are at 60 pp. Prices will change. All right, so how are we going to grade the ships? Every ship is broken down into several stats and each stat of the ship will be graded on a five step scale ranging from A to F. So A, B, C, D, and F. Starting at the top, we have A. A represents great, excellent, one of the best in the game. Very few stats will have this rating and any stat that does have an A rating has earned it. It is much more likely that a ship will actually have a B rating. And B, B represents good, favorable, advantageous. If a stat has a B rating, it gets the job done. Moving on, then we have next C ratings. C represents fair, mediocre, average, ordinary, pretty self-explanatory. Now don't get me wrong, just because a stat has this rating does not instantly make it a write-off. It just means that the stat is not special, and you may find that some stats are completely irrelevant to you, your playstyle, or the individual scenario that is happening right now on the battlefield. But then, <laughs> we move into the Badlands. D. D represents poor. Weak. Underpowered inadequate, substandard. Sometimes a stat that has a D will be actively working against you and you want to be staying away from those or if you are using a ship with a D stat, you're definitely going to want to be aware of the weak link. Lastly, we have F. Failure, awful, distressing, appalling, atrocious, dreadful, oh, the humanity. Stats that have an F rating highlight serious flaws in ship design. Stay away from Fs unless you really know what you're doing. So now that we have the grading system, what stats are we going to be grading? Well first we're going to be looking at the three most important stats of any ship, and I like to call them the primary stats. 
speed, armament, and armor. Speed is a measure of how fast the ship is. The top speed, sail type, and engines will be considered in this category. Armament is a measure of how much firepower a ship can deliver. This is based primarily on the broadside size and location, but will also include considerations for chasers, mortars, swivels, and any other ordnance. Lastly, armor. Armor is a simple measurement of the ship's overall health. It's also a measurement of how long a ship can stay in combat. Important, but not much else to say on that stat. These three primary stats will give you a great overview of the ship without having to go into much detail, and that's absolutely excellent. That is why I'm doing the primary stats first. Great ships will be classified as having a good balance of the three stats, or having two really good stats that kind of counterbalance a third, maybe not so great stat. But I know that you guys are here because you want the details, and that's why I'm including secondary stats that will go into a lot more detail. I classify secondary stats as their importance being based on preference, play style, and scenario more than really any other factor. Whereas primary stats will always be useful, you may find some secondary stats just kind of completely irrelevant for you. So the secondary stats that I will be grading are as followed. One, we have helming, which is a measure of how easy the ship is to turn and its general maneuverability which if you're ever in combat, if you're a helmer most of the time, you know that that is very important how fast you can turn and react to your enemy. That's what helming is for. Second, we have protection. Protection is a measure of how protected cannons, crew, and helm are to incoming fire. In trade lands, you can get your helm shot off, you can get cannon shot off, you can get your crew sniped. A ship with good protection will do a good job of preventing that from happening. Thirdly, we have ease of boarding, which is how difficult it is for an enemy to board the ship while moving. The more difficult it is, the better the ship is. Then fourth, we have ship profile, which is a measure of how big, easy to spot, and easy to hit your ship is. And this includes anything under the waterline. If you don't know, uh, in the most recent Tradelands update, there was a pretty big change to cannons where uh, shots that hit below the waterline of a ship will actually do more damage. So that will be included in this stat. Fifthly, we have range, which is a measure of how far your uh, ships can shoot, which is based on tilt and also your mortars. Uh, sixthly, we have uh, round shot storage, measure of how much round shot can be stored. And finally, seventh, trade potential, which is how good the ship will be for trading based on all of the other stats listed above. With all those stats out of the way, I will then give the ship a final grade. And I'm going to be giving the, these final grades on a 13 point scale, which is the same as the A, B, C, D, F scale before, but I'm going to include A pluses, A minuses, B pluses, B minuses, etc. So that's going to be more detailed for you guys, the final grade. I will also give the ship a recommended role, and this role is a description of what I believe the ship is best used as. You're going to see phrases such as capital ship, boarding ship, support ship, trading ship, tank, etc. Those are the kind of titles you'll see when I'm talking about recommended role. I hope to get around to reviewing every single ship in trade lands at one point or another, and the best way for you to encourage me to make more videos and to get these videos out is to leave comments, leave likes, share the videos with others. Nothing motivates a YouTuber more than just seeing a video go viral and the views go up and up and up. That's the best way to get these videos out. Uh, the first video is actually already out. It's on <laughs> my favorite ship in the game, the Phoenix, and you can find a link to it in the description of this video or in the ship spotlight playlist, which will also be linked in the description of the video. Alright, with all that said, I think we're ready to have a great series on the channel, and it'll be a fun time, it'll be informative for everybody, and I'm going to have to think harder about trade land ships than I've ever had to think about, than, I, than I've ever had to think about before. Anyways, leave a like, it really helps out, subscribe if you've not yet subscribed, and see you guys next time.